What's up guys? Big Rob here. And uh, shooting you this quick video. Now I say it's going to be pretty quick, but some of them are longer than others. But basically want to drop some knowledge on you on this beautiful day. And, you know, I've got to tell you, it's an old cliche, but it's something I want to start the video out with. And that is perception is reality. You know, if you don't have the idiot box turned on, AKA the television constantly feeding you this stuff, you really don't know what's going on in other parts of the world in the country. Now, that doesn't mean put your blinders on and live, you know, in, in a bubble. But I've got to tell you, in my world, I don't see all this hate, devastation, anger, animosity, drama. I've got beautiful black neighbors. I've got beautiful Hispanic neighbors. I've got beautiful Asian American neighbors. And we've got a whole lot of white folks as well. We all pay our taxes. We all pay our bills. We all take care of our kids, send them to good schools, and we do the best we can with what we're given. Now, that wasn't the case for me growing up. When I grew up, I grew up in the hard, poor city of Rochester, New York. I'm talking gangbanger central, okay? Some people call it the East Coast Compton. I know there's Gary, Indiana. I know there's a lot of harder places. But statistically, for the size of the city, the amount of crime that we lived through, it was hell. Now, my perception back then was, that's all I knew, man. That was a beautiful place to live. I took my bad with my good, and I kept rolling. When I got a little older, started to see the world in a different, you know, way, my perception changed. So my reality changed. I knew that there was a better life out there for me and that where I was living wasn't where I wanted to end up. And so the purpose of this video is to enlighten you and let you know that you can change your reality when you change your perception, when you change your outlook on life. You don't have to stay strapped, you know, you know, trapped. Well, you should stay strapped. That's another subject. But you don't have to stay trapped where you are. You make that choice. You ultimately yourself make that choice to be where you are. You think that that's your home just because it's your home? No, home is where you make it. It's an excuse to accept failure. It's a damn shame when I get on the, the internet or the television and I see these people rioting in their own neighborhoods burning shit down, that's your own damn fault. Nobody in my neighborhood's burning down a building because we work for it. I'm tired of it. You don't see us at Target ripping and roaring through shit. And I got, I got African-American neighbors. I got Hispanic neighbors. Don't give me that bullshit. You want to live in that type of environment? Like I used to live in, where you're burning buildings, throwing rocks through windows, spray painting. Yeah, that's the way I grew up. Siphoning gas, armed robberies, break-ins, murders, homicides, rapes. You change that. You join the Marine Corps, you join the Army, you join the Air Force, you become a cop, you change your perspective. But to sit there and say it's everyone else's fault? No, take ownership. You wanna talk about these lives matter and those lives matter? You matter. You make the change. Man in the mirror, man up, woman up. Now of course, black lives matter. My life matters, your life matters. But when you're infiltrated by Antifa, and you got George Soros funding your riots, your movement doesn't make any sense. You want justice for George? You got it. 
But understand, he's no martyr. He's not Martin Luther King. He's a felon with aggravated robbery. Spent five years in the pen. Does that make him a bad man? Absolutely not. He was in Minnesota, hopefully trying to change his life. Having fentanyl in the system doesn't sound like he was. That's not for me to judge. Like I said, if I don't turn on the TV or the internet, it doesn't affect me. And it shouldn't affect you either. You've got to live your life. You've got to get out there and provide for your family. you got all this time to worry about other people, yet you don't worry about yourself. And you don't get pissed off for greatness. You don't get pissed off for your own failure. You don't get pissed off when you don't make you know, your ends meet and make a difference. But you get pissed off for somebody else. I'm telling you right now, you need to get pissed off for greatness for yourselves. You need to get pissed off and be a little selfish and get your shit together. You can make the difference. But if you keep relying upon politicians, rock stars, and these fake ass entertainers, that's all you're gonna get. More of the same. I'm telling you now, I'm gonna keep this video short. And I know I'm angry and I know I'm pissed because I'm motivated and I'm dedicated to my cause. And this is the fire that I bring at 44 years of age. If you're 22 years old, you ain't got shit going on. Make a difference. Change it. Don't look for your mom and dad to make the difference. You make the difference. You don't like the cops in your neighborhood? Be a cop. Change it. Go out there and be the lieutenant, the captain. Change it. You're not going to change it by belly aching and bitching. If I sat there every day of my existence as a youngster and bitched about my situation, poor Rob. Poor Rob getting robbed at gunpoint at eight years old for 86 cents. I'd still be where I was. But because I knew there was a better life for me, I got it. Because I wanted it. Because I wouldn't accept anything less than. So that's the energy I'm bringing. Even though I'm out here, I've got to hit up stores. I've got things to do. Driving around, sharing my thoughts with you with all these crazies that live their privileged life. There ain't no privilege, we just work for it. Ain't shit handed to me. Not a damn thing. You look at my skin color, you automatically think privilege, you're a damn fool. My start was harder than most of you out there. Most of you in my situation would have never made it out. You're too weak. Eagle Scout, high school graduate, college graduate, U.S. Marine, business owner, pension. So don't tell me you can't make it happen. Don't tell me you need a million people, three million people to make a difference, to make a change. You gotta make the change individually. You gotta change your perception. You're gonna have to move outside of those hoods. You're gonna have to change it because you ain't gonna change it when other people around you don't want it to change. You ever heard of the term, birds of a feather, flock together? Well, if you ain't down with that, you gotta make changes. Because some people enjoy living in, let's just call it, shitholes. Some people enjoy being on Section 8 welfare their whole life because they don't know any better. They don't want to get educated. They don't want to change anything. So, to those people that want to change and see a difference, you got to do it for you. You got to do it for your family. You got to do it for your circle. But you can't rely upon everybody to do what you're doing because it ain't for everybody. Your path is different from mine. My path is different from his. And his path is different from hers. Will we ever have peace? I hope so. But I'm 44 years old this year. And I haven't seen it. So if you're looking for that hope, if you're looking for that change, you better change your perspective. And your perspective starts when you look in the mirror, you judge yourself, 
and you stop feeling sorry for yourself and you make positive changes in your life, which in turn, you become a reflection on other people's lives. And maybe, just maybe, you can start to change other people by allowing them to see that you've changed because then their perception, their reality changes. You give them hope, you give them a way out. Then yes, you can make it too, if you believe. You got The Rock up here talking about where's the president. You got 100 million followers, The Rock. Why don't you change something? You make all these Disney films? I voted for Barack Obama, first term. Hope and change, got nothing. They're all politicians, they're all puppets on a string. You cannot look for a politician, a movie star, an actor, a rapper, a rocker to change your life. You have to change it. So unless you're gonna start to get pissed off at greatness, you're gonna, you're gonna be stuck exactly where you are. Five years from now, 10 years from now. I hope this video touches thousands and hopefully millions of people because this is the pep talk and the type of morale booster that you need. You need to hear it. Raw and uncut. Fire. Energy. No more of this pussy footing around. Low voice. No balls. Get some. Get out there and be the change you want it to be. Until then, don't expect anyone or anyone or anything to come and save your ass. Because I'm telling you right now, there's no one coming to save your ass. You, you already know, toilet paper, there was a shortage. Food, there's gonna be a shortage. Money, there's gonna be a shortage. So if you're not setting yourself up in the downtime that you have, then you're letting yourself down. There's toilet paper now, go get some, stock up. I bet you aren't, because you think it's, it's gonna be here. You worried about getting your protein in? Go to the store right now, get you some chicken breast, get a deep freezer, start saving up. Self-made, provide for yourself. Stop allowing the government and everyone to take care of you. As always, I'm gonna end this video on a positive note. If you want change, it starts with you. You go viral. You make it happen. You can show others that if you can change yourself, anything is possible. Keep getting out there. Keep doing whatever it takes. Keep, keep believing in yourselves. Never take no for an answer. You can make it out of every situation that you're put into. You believe that you can make it, it's gonna happen. As always, stay right or die for yours. You don't have time to waste on people that don't wanna be in your circle and down for you. They're not down for you and they can't pick you up at the airport, cut them loose, get them out of your phone. Make the change for you. No one's coming to save you. On that note, I'm gonna get up in here and I'm gonna clang and bang. Cause I want to. Cause this is my lifestyle. Not for you, not to look better on camera. Cause I wanna be mentally strong, physically strong, and morally awake. You should too. Get out there, make a difference. Be the difference. Keep doing whatever it takes. Stay right or die. I'm out.